fuck? If you post some shit like that, you touch people? Get the fuck away from me. If you touch me, get the fuck away from me. Get the fuck away from me. You can touch anybody. I didn't touch shit. Yeah, I saw you touch somebody. No, I didn't. You don't fucking touch somebody. Touch the sign. Touch the sign, dude. Get over it. Don't fucking touch anybody. You don't fucking touch anybody here. Touch the sign, buddy. Yeah, don't fucking touch anybody. Liar. You're fucking done. Liar. That is a Milwaukee Public Schools art teacher named John Fleissner, dude. Someone can do some weaponized 4chan autism or whatever and find out, you know. And it was like, well, what do you want to do to make the school a better place? If you're a good teacher, you're like listening and understanding and trying to empathize and understand like what's going on out there so you can best, you know. I just like to agitate people around the issues. I'll show you my face outside the university. You know, I, there's been different times where I play a more active role or think that I can help. What's up, John Fleissner? How you doing, buddy? Oh! <laughs> I say that I'm by no means a leader. John's an art teacher with Milwaukee Public Schools. Students are the next wave in this movement. We're not going to be getting married as early. We're not going to be having kids as early. We won't own houses. We won't have, have cars. So I can stay away from like hundreds of people. Tonight, that'd be really hard because there's like 3,000 people out here, I'd say. I wish that students could be with us in those schools, um, but it's not safe right now. Yeah, we'll catch you outside the university. We'll have a conversation about it there. Yeah, come to the hood. We've um, just tried to do a lot of things to help Occupy Baltimore. One woman tells Fox 45 News she was raped over the weekend. Even worse, she says no one from the Occupy group has been willing to help her identify and catch her attacker. People are being assaulted, people are being raped. We understand that, but we have a security team that actively deals with these situations. But other campers are quick to jump in front of our camera, shoving and threatening. They say they'll handle it themselves and don't need the media or police. This woman who didn't want to be identified claims she was raped here in one of the tents Friday night. She went down on Saturday night under threat of eviction to try and, you know, um, just witness and, and see what happened and take pictures and video and, you know, distribute it if that had happened. It, thankfully, it didn't happen. You lying scum fuck piece of shit. Standing right over here uh, by the pole, you can see that dude right there. That is, yeah. that is a Milwaukee Public Schools art teacher named John Fleissner, dude. So he's, I don't know, he's like posted up watching me and Riley standing here um, or like super, I don't know, like supervising from across the street. I don't know what his deal is, but I have other clips, maybe in, in the same, uh, not in this, play, not in this uh, compilation, but in the same playlist, there'll be a video from UWM that I find very peculiar maybe we can load that one up in, in this uh podcast here too yeah but he that dude is a straight up like open antifa supporting blm supporting radical psycho uh, well art. antifa's anti-fascist and black lives matter is just you know rights for black people you know uh, well antifa is blm and blm is antifa but like this this guy is a milwaukee public schools art teacher and he uses the guy the guy sitting up against the pole right there in the video frame this is all like sufficiently like on the screen, right? We got it all squared away. Okay, yeah. Cool. 
uh, yeah, that dude is, and he's got the Adidas, like trendy Adidas crap on. Cause he's, you know, he's like, a, yeah. he's like a worker. Right. But, uh, he, he's just an open brazen Antifa communist fucking like BLM supporting art teacher. And he uses his platform to indoctrinate the kids like straight up. I got the yep. screen caps and everything. Anyway, you do have some really good, like fucking town hall footage too. Yeah, yeah, he's that dude. Same dude has attended a lot of the town halls. I've been in a lot of the te- fucking figured. A lot of the teachers' union right. stuff, where they're demanding like more. I mean, more and more to what pass half of their kids, and the half of the kids that actually pass don't even have literacy. <laughs> like, oh know? my god, it's like that in Boston public schools, dude. Hey. They, they 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 don't want it to look bad for people of color, so they just pass them along and shit like that, and they're not learning a fucking thing. I mean, if they really, honestly, I think if they cared about the kids, they just let them drop out more easily and like have certifi- you know, like ma certifications and uh, internships and you know. Uh, well, yes, yeah, so, I mean, that, do, you, do you support school choice and whatnot, and not being forcing them to go to public school, being able to uh, choose different schools to go to? I mean, maybe, but I don't know if that's really the solution per se i think that uh maybe maybe emphasizing like homeschooling not i mean i don't know at this point the damage is probably already done oh yeah but, you know i don't think i <laughs> i regret to say it, but a lot of families probably are not equipped educationally themselves right. in order to homeschool but maybe at one point that would have been the case it's just a little bit too late now oh yeah it is in, in the culture itself definitely yeah, it, but it's also that the dude leaning up against the pole, John Fleissner, MPS art school, uh, or MPS art teacher, uh, Antifa psycho. Um, it's also he and his union buddies can continue to get money and power for themselves so that, like, by extension, the Democratic Party and also by extension, the bankster class that funds them can continue. To he has the, the backing of the establishment. Yeah. <laughs> he has establishment backing. Yeah, yeah. And he's right by the cop cruiser too. Like this is I don't know, this is kinda weird and suspicious to me. And like and there's other yeah. there's other examples we might get to. Yeah. Okay, so he grabs him, grabs him. <laughs> just stop, stop, stop. Guy standing right behind that cop that just grabbed Andrew Cox is yeah. John Fleissner. Uh dude I kept talking about, right? So see the guy in the blue? No, the guy with the fucking mask. Oh my god, he, the fucking, he blended in with the fucking scenery, dude. He's a little ninja. He fucking meshed in with the door, I couldn't see him. Yeah, so that's that's the dude who was leaning up against the pole at the abortion clinic. That guy doesn't look suspicious at all. And he's standing... That guy doesn't look suspicious at all, dude. dude Everyone dresses like that. Standing right behind the cop. Well, he, he's one of the leaders. He and Ben, uh, ben Turk. So th- three of the main uh, people of interest in this movement in Milwaukee are... Ben Turk, John Fleissner, and Andrew Cox, like, they seem to be three of, like, I don't know, low to mid-tier sort of operatives in this operation. Like, they seem to be potential. I mean, I don't have any concrete evidence of this, but they yeah, be, but I know what you're saying. seem to be potentially, like, you know, like, maybe the paid sort of rabble-rousers. Like, it's their job to go round up Eating. There's a hierarchy, right? It seems to be their their job to maybe run, go around the campus or go around like the punk scene or like the dive bars and like recruit mentally ill druggies or like dumb low. How men. hilarious is that? They're they're so against capitalism, but they still have like store managers. <laughs> he's like a manager. He's responsible for hiring. He's responsible for floating around, maintaining everyone's doing their job. Yep, yep. It's still like a fucking capitalist hierarchy. <laughs> Having him. Ooh. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. See? Ugh. See? Fucking stop, baby. Stop, stop. Oh, you hear who said let him go? It was fucking John Fleissner saying let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Stop. So John Fleissner goes let him go. And what do they do? Don't. And what do they do? Let him go. Wow. Let him go. But, yeah, as you can see... Basically, for in my interpretation of this video, is dude fucking ordered the cops to let Andrew Cox go, and they did. Yeah, he's so. lurking around. How do you know his identity? How do you know who he is? Because he's wearing sun... His face is covered, and he's wearing sunglasses indoors. Oh, I have his... You know, I, I have his voice that I recognize. I guess... Yeah, I guess you have to fucking take my word for it. Maybe 4chan can do yeah. weaponized autism. 
this dude for some yeah. unmask Antifa if they care enough. Um, yeah, I sh- I, no, I, well, I've, sh- I've shot a, 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 a thousandth of the fucking videos you've shot, but I, you definitely notice the same people sometimes, you know? Yeah. You know it's them. I've seen him unmasked at protests. Um, I've seen him with, like, the now with the COVID mask on um, at protests. You can load up, actually, the... I was on, you know, I was on the big screen at this very same protest when Milo was talking, right? We can load that video up, too, and we can hear, dude. Yeah. You want to load that video up next, I could send that to you. Just continue it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right. Go back. Go on. Stole it again. You see oh, that? the police oh, are your best buddies all of a sudden. The police are your best buddies all of a sudden. You yeah. fucking fraud. Oh, uh, yeah, dude. dude right, yeah. That dude right there in the center. That's John Fleiss. Yeah. Right there. Someone can do some weaponized 4chan autism or whatever and find out, you know. Uh, we, we might have to bust out more videos to sort of compare and contrast because I do have a uh, video of the dude uh, unmasked, but. Yeah, dude's fucking. <laughs> his face is covered, and he's wearing sunglasses indoor with a head covering. Head... Yeah, that guy blends right in, right? The sunglasses. The sunglasses are on the head now. He's like concealing his identity seems to only really matter at certain points. Like at other other events, like he, he'll take it down and put it back up. Like same same concept with COVID. It's like it's almost a tacit admission that it's all bullshit. Like this pretense like right well one, one of the reasons they keep saying they need to cover their faces well we don't want to be doxxed uh they do it because they want to assault people or do illegal fucking shit right yeah that's what they do yeah so that's that's john flyson right there again mps milwaukee public schools art teacher open antifa communist uh open blm supporter shows his kid like his art class kids like uh Netflix specials like Blood on the Doorstep, which is a, uh, if you look into that, it's a pro BLM propaganda piece that uh, was written about the Dontre Hamilton shooting, which that dude was sleeping on a park bench and the cop came up to him. He freaked out and grabbed the cop's baton. And the cop, of course, had to fucking unfortunately shoot him because, like, who wouldn't, cop or not, right? Someone comes at you, yeah. someone comes at you with a bludgeoning weapon and you have a gun. Uh, yeah, no shit. You're going to shoot that motherfucker. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of guys. These are, these are a lot of teachers. These are like people who handle your food. I'm sure, you know, there's a lot of social workers, you know, probably people who work in like psychology, like in early childhood development. Like this is scary shit, dude. You know, that's the kind of people these are. Yeah. They made a movie about him. Roger Hamilton. Yeah. Blood is at the doorstep. That blood on the doorstep. Yeah. Urban Milwaukee. Yeah. Oh my god. And he showed that to his kids. Like in, in his, I have the screen caps somewhere of him talking about showing that to his kids. It's a propaganda piece in art class. Oh my god. He must have gotten so much positive praise. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Can I play it? I continue. Oh, oh, Nazi scum! I'm tired of being told by these fascists who to hate. You know what Nazism has taken a very camp turn if this is the face of the That's the class. That's the class of fascists. Don't get me put signs. 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 Don't get
Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. Okay, that's like an, on the outskirts of Milwaukee. It's like a really nice, like cul de sac off fucking suburb. You know, maybe not suburb, but like it's. I, th- I think it is a suburb technically. He's like, come to the hood, come outside the university. We'll talk about it then. We'll take our masks off then. Yeah, right, dude. That's the worst, bitch. What's up, y'all? You gonna brandish your sticks to some old dudes today? What's up? It's pretty ageist, don't you think? Microaggression? Maybe macro, even. A little bit of a macro aggression we got going here? Dude, come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, got your faces anyway. What's up, John Fleissner? How you doing, buddy? Get the fuck away from me. Fuck. Holy shit, dude. Fuck. <laughs> shit. <laughs> what triggered SJW's attack? John Fleissner. Public school teacher indoctrinating his kids. And everything. You guys made it personal long time ago. 